All right, now we're gonna do 6Q Take a 10 Minutes Walk. This is by JK Phobic, and 89% of the people like it. We're in the city of Cartesia, where all laid, all roads are laid out in a grid. We gotta take a walk uh, that takes exactly 10 minutes and gets us exactly back where we came from. Uh, it's gonna be an array, we're gonna get an array like this, uh, and it needs to be like, the length of it needs to be 10. And for every north, there needs to be a south. And for every east, there needs to be a west. All right? Uh, and for some reason, okay, and I'll show you what. All right, so function is valid walk, walk, blah, 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 blah. All right, so we're going to put this into concise syntax and const here. Is valid walk equals walk. And then the rest of it an arrow. <coughs> Down here, we're going to say console.log so that we can test it out real easy. And then we're gonna get started right now. All right, so we're gonna say uh, walk dot length. Equals 10. All right, let's test this out. Well, I guess we don't need to test it yet. Anyway, uh, so it's gotta be, this thing's gotta be 10 long and When uh, we add up all these N's and S's and E's and W's together, uh, they need to equal, they need to both equal zero. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the reduce method by saying uh, walk dot reduce, and uh, we're gonna say previous current, the previous and current values, like that right there. And then right now we're gonna say uh, previous plus current, excuse me, and plus, and then we're gonna make a little object right here with all the N's and the S's and the W's and the E's. So we're gonna do an object right here. We're gonna say in, excuse me, string in, and that's the key and for the value we're gonna have one. And then we're gonna have string E, string E for east, and that's also going to be, no, that's going to be two, because for some reason, if we do it like one and one and one and one, then it won't uh, add up when it's, when it's doing this second, this third test. Anyway, uh, then we're going to come down here and we're going to say, uh, let's see, south, and that's going to be negative one, and then west is going to be negative two, all right? And I mean, I might as well show you what'll happen if we have ones in both of these places. What we're just trying to get is this thing to equal zero. So since we need to equal zero, we need this to not be true because when it equals zero, that's what we're looking for, all right? So we're gonna do something like that right there. All right now let's uh, test it. No, we also need the initial value and we need to access these uh, key value pairs. So we're going to access the key value pairs by putting current index right there so that, you know, it'll hit in, it'll do one and whatnot, and then let's have the uh, initial value after that. Now let's test it out. Let's get the, rid of this console.log. Test it out. Looks good. Attempt it. See on the third test when it should when it just goes west for some reason it doesn't like that so we're going to have to change this to negative two and east to two and test it out works attempt it and there we go now for some reason it does work I don't know exactly what the deal is but this works fine uh, submit it. And you can see on this one, they're using like a four uh, loop with a switch statement, you know, where you go negative one. And I mean, on this one, they can do plus one, minus one all day, but I guess it's just because of the reduce or whatever. And then they just making sure that uh, the walk dot length is 10. And then when it gets uh, to X, it's back to zero. And when it gets to Y, it's back to zero. 
Uh, and then we got a filter, and then you can just, you know what to do. You know how to look at this stuff. Uh, very much like this one. Here's mine. I'm just the only one here. Best practice, in my opinion. But we'll see you next time.